Hello folks, um, I hope you're all safe and well, um, wherever you are listening and watching from. Um, my name's Steve Fossey, I'm the Programme Leader for the BA Fine Arts degree at the University of Lincoln. Um, I'd like to speak today a little bit about my experiences um, as the Programme Leader and the Module Leader for the Degree Show module. Um, that my students are coming to towards the end of, which is the culmination of their time on the BA Fine Art Programme um, in Lincoln. And I'd like to talk about some of the challenges and some of what I see as the successes um, that my students have faced and um, produced. I'd like to begin really by thinking back eight weeks or so to when Almost overnight, teaching primarily went online and I distinctly remember the last face-to-face -face lecture, which was around that time, where my students and I were speaking about the upcoming Private View and the, the degree show itself and what stood in front of us over the, the closing weeks of the module. And then it changed, everything changed. And we found ourselves communicating like this, um, speaking to screens, speaking to cameras, um, just communicating and teaching and learning in, in ways that we've not experienced before on this scale. Um, what that's done for me has, has challenged my way of thinking about what it is to be a lecturer. Um, I think the thing I've learned um, and this is, this is no great surprise really to me. The thing I've learned is that the students will teach us the ways to move forward with all of this stuff that we are collaborating on, teaching them but learning from them. And what I mean by that is putting on an exhibition is difficult um, in physical space, in a gallery space, as was the plan for the Degree Show exhibition. Um, it's even more challenging when that physical space is suddenly taken away. And we really didn't know, working together as staff and students, what that was going to look like. But what I saw within hours, within days, was the students coming together and coming up with solutions. And as always, as staff, we would offer input and we would, we would um, discuss ways we thought that might work out. And the students being the sort of characters they are, came up with better solutions, came up with more technologically advanced, um, digitally ambitious solutions to um, the situation, the circumstances. Um, that was the first inspiring thing. But like I said, it was no surprise really, that response, because for three years I've been working with these students and watching them grow and become the artists that they are now. So then if we kind of throw ourselves into where we are at the moment, we are a couple of weeks really, um, just under, from what will effectively be an online degree show exhibition. So the space between us, as the students have titled the show, is the coming together of a whole bunch of artists exploring a whole bunch of different things. And they're doing that now in, a, in what is a post-studio environment, but not post-studio as we've come to understand or think about post-studio, um, which was sometimes a choice of, of not working traditionally in a studio. This is almost a post-studio environment um, that we've had to adapt to. So some of those practices and some of those initial concerns that the students were exploring at the start of the semester and at the start of the module have had to shift and those practices have had to evolve and they had to evolve quickly. We took the decision not to change the, the time scale for these things um, because the students have made work in response in a quick, timely way and not had to compromise. And in fact, 
made work that responds to these new challenges and speaks to these conditions that we find ourselves in. And again, I, I've used the word inspiring quite a few times here, but that has been one of the most inspiring things, just to learn about what is possible when you're working from a bedroom or um, I'm here in my own studio um, at home. So this, this idea of the studio working or home working, um, teaching, lecturing online using technologies like um, Blackboard, Collaborate, Ultra, um, and these different, these different learn, learning environments, virtual learning environments. Um, we've learned what's possible. So we're all separate and the space between us, I think speaks to that because the way that we think about space, the way that we think about social space, artistic collaborative space has changed and is changing. And something that I've been keen to emphasize with the students is the fact that we are all in this together. And when I say we, creative practitioners, students, workers of all kinds, um, museums, galleries, we're all trying to find ways to still access art and give people access to art and make art. And the students are, are running with that and, and showing me ways that in the future, we might rethink what the exhibition is or rethink what the studio practice is. The degree itself, the Fine Art degree at the University of Lincoln, has an approach to a studio which I think it has always been really interesting. So it's almost like the students were ready for this challenge. They are digitally proficient and there is an emphasis on the digital, on the programme anyway, from the beginning. So these students were, had already gained these skills. Um, and the way that we use the studio um, on the programme varies from student to student. I think what's, what's regrettable and what's been the, the, the saddest part really for me, I think, of, of, of the circumstances we find ourselves in, is not being able to physically be together and use the studio as almost as a meeting place, um, a social thinking space. The studio is more than just a place where art happens or, or conversations take place. But like I said, we've found ways to, to expand the notion of the studio. I'm also thinking about the fact that the students are carrying around what they've learned from the past, the past time being in the studio, how they're carrying that around with them. So this idea of the kind of nomadic post-studio environment that allows a student to take their studio with them wherever they might be, that's a really exciting prospect for me because it allows us to be together and make together wherever we might be separately. Um, and again, this is, this is something that we've always been thinking about um, on the programme in arts practice more broadly, but certainly recently more than ever. And it does make me think about what is possible in the future. I think what is exciting about a fine art programme of any kind really, but what is exciting about when, when artists are working together in the early stages of their careers quite often at university, they're not afraid to take risks, they're not afraid to make mistakes. And what they do is they do show us what the years after them might be capable of. And this happens year on year. So it feels to me that the, what will be the class of 2020 will be creating a blueprint of what me and my colleagues will be thinking about as we move into a different kind of fine art teaching environment next academic year, the year after that and in the future. We find ourselves in very uncertain times, everything is, is different and changing all the time and that is both scary in lots of ways but what often happens under those circumstances is artists rally around and they, and they make, like I said, creative solutions to potential problems. That's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm really excited about and as we move towards this online exhibition and we start to invite people to witness and explore the work that these students have made, we do so actually with a sense of optimism and a sense of everything is possible 
Um, that is what is most exciting and that is what is most valuable about what my students have shown me and what the students of this program this year have done. It goes across all of the three years on the program. The first years came in and they were very new to the university. They have had to respond to this. The second years, midway through their degree, they've had to respond to working off-site, creating projects in different sites that they could no longer access. And the third years, as I've just said, looking towards a degree show which can't happen in physical space. So across the whole cohort, I've seen an extraordinary amount of optimism, enthusiasm, and creative practices evolve. But it is the third years who will go away from this with a different set of skills. They will graduate with, with a different approach to making and creating. And I think the creative industries and whichever industries these folks go into will be the richer for that.